Hi, I'm Sharon Abreu. The song you were just listening to is my song, Be Peace. I feel very excited about being able to take the Be Peace Foundations course, which is going to be at the Whidbey Institute August 1st to 4th. And I would also like to help other people to be able to take the course, which is the purpose of this video. My good friend Pushka Rasali Ashford had a singing dream in which she envisioned a pilgrimage for peace and global harmony. And I'd like to have her tell you a little bit about that. Also, I'd like you to meet Pam Jenkins, who's a kindergarten teacher right here in my community on Orcas Island. Pam wants to bring the Be Peace practice into her classroom and have it spread through the community through teaching it to our children. So now I'd like you to meet Pushkara and Pam. So along uh, about 2008, I had a singing dream. And the dream informed me that I was going to go on a pilgrimage, a pilgrimage for peace and global harmony. It came to me that this would be fun. It would not be taken alone. It would be, it would involve a troop of people. And in fact, it would be taken in a gypsy wagon. It would be theater. So uh, we inaugurated the gypsy wagon in November of 2009, and that involved, engaged a lot of singers, song weavers, and community people uh, singing around the wagon. And the, the wagon itself says, Pilgrimage for Peace and Global Harmony. The door has Sing Peace. And uh, when people approach the wagon, we count smiles. It, it's always with a grin, right? And uh, what's more, you know, it's quite often, oh, my dream, oh, my dream. So somehow this wagon represents something that people hold very closely. They're within their comfort zone, but it's usually a transformative moment, and that transformation is in the connection that we share. Uh, and then, more recently, I encountered the Bee Peace Foundations course. And we feel that between Bee Peace, that teaches one to feel peace, speak peace, teach peace, and sing peace, which is the celebratory component, as a completely full and viable method to get it out of the pie in the sky and onto the ground. The U.S. is the seat of military power in the world. We have a huge job ahead of us to create a culture of peace, but be peace and sing peace are all about creating that culture of peace. So what is your piece of the peace? What will you give to it? Hi, I'm Pam Jenkins. I teach kindergarten at the Orcas Island Elementary School, where I've been for 26 years. I feel really blessed to live in this community and work with these young children and families, watch the families and kids grow. I now have students who are the children of former students in my class. Um, I feel very fortunate to be here. I had a particularly challenging class this year and I saw wonderful kids but um, they weren't great at resolving conflicts and often thought of well this is what I want rather than you know trying to work things out with their peers. So really trying to help them to see how their actions affect the whole and um, how it's important that they work together and learn to listen to each other and resolve conflict. So I do quite a bit of that, but I also would find myself frustrated and, um, and not modeling necessarily always the, um, the respectful tone that I would like them to learn to use with each other. 
um, and the listening. Um, and so I'm very excited when I heard about this course um, and listening to uh, Rita Marie Johnson talk about her work in Costa Rica and bringing this to the United States. Um, I just thought, wow, this would be a wonderful opportunity for me to learn more about how to help children um, develop these skills and develop these skills myself. So my hope is that um, I can learn more about that and do a much better job working with these children that they can carry these skills um, on through the years in their life and their interactions with others. So I'm, I'm really hoping that um, a lot of people will participate in this course and I'm really looking forward to connecting with others um, who also are wanting to create more peace. There's so much division in the country right now and, and in the world. How do, we, how do we change that in our interactions day to day? So I'm, I'm hoping you can join me, and um, if not, that hopefully you can also support um, this course and this process in some way and be involved um, in other ways. So thank you. If you'd like to take the Be Peace course, you can go to the Whidbey Institute website at www.whidbeyinstitute.org. Or if you'd like to sponsor a teacher, you can go to resorinternational.org. Resor is the nonprofit that supports Be Peace. There you'll find a sponsor a teacher form and an email address where you can send your form. Please specify the name of the person you want to sponsor or indicate that your sponsorship is for the Be Peace course at Whidbey Institute August 1st to 4th. Thank you so much. I pray for peace in this world, for all people. I pray for I pray peace, for peace in this world, for all people. But I know prayer is not enough, not enough. I must be peace, feel it in my body and soul. Be Glory love can show That's when I